I definitely take advantage of the season because strawberry season in the Midwest is so short. I'll buy a bunch of them as early as I can this time of year and then I will freeze them to have throughout the year. But right now it's all about strawberry shortcake, although I'm not gonna make a typical one for you today. This has got a, a bit of a twist to it. So what I do is I start with lots of fresh strawberries that I've cleaned really, really well. Uh, I got these from the farm, uh, Johnson's Farm Produce in Hobart, Indiana. And I've just added about a three, four tablespoons of sugar. This is going to macerate, um, pull some of the juices out of the strawberries and bring out some of their natural sweet let it sit for about 15 minutes in a bowl. You want to make sure you collect those juices in here. Meanwhile, I've got a cookie sheet here with a couple different things on it. This is my shortcake, if you will. I've got a couple different options here. I've got a glazed donut, which I've cut in half. I've got a biscuit that I got down the street at Aya Pastry. I've got an old-fashioned donut that I've torn into pieces, and then a sugar cookie. I've got a couple different options here. I'm going to bring these over to my oven now. My oven's at 350, and I'm gonna just put these in the oven for about five minutes until they get warm and a little bit crisp. Okay, well that's in the oven. I'm gonna make some whipped cream. I've got some heavy cream here. And in this bowl, I've got about two tablespoons of sugar. I don't wanna sweeten the whipped cream way too much because I've already got the, the macerated strawberries with the sweetness. Now, you could do a whisk and it would take a lot of elbow grease, and you've really got to beat this quite consistently. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use uh, my hand blender here, and I'm going to whip this until I've got kind of almost stiff peaks. Uh, you'll see what it looks like in about, eh, about a minute. And you can see what it looks like when it's finished. It is quite firm. Now, typically, you'd use uh, powdered sugar. I don't have any right now. Granulated sugar is just fine. But you want it to be quite stiff. So there's my whipped cream. Now the sauce, really, really quickly, in a blender. I just transferred some of my macerated strawberries that have been sitting here and getting beautiful glistening uh, from all that sugar that I sprinkled over them. I've got the Dar Selects, the Honey Eye, uh, the Early Glow, all the different varieties that we got at the farm. And I'm gonna just pulse this. You don't need anything else. There's already some sugar on the strawberries. Just pulse it, maybe blend it 30 seconds until it's, until it's a puree. Okay, time to assemble these. I've got two different options here. One more rustic, one a little fancier. Now, first rustic one, this is the uh, old-fashioned donut that I just sort of broke up into pieces. I'm gonna just spoon a bunch of beautiful strawberries over this, and a nice dollop of whipped cream, and of course, a little bit of the sauce just to go around, and that's that. Very simple, really rustic. A little bit more elegant uh, if you wanna get fancier. This is the half a biscuit here, and I'm gonna go with the whipped cream first, and I'm gonna just kind of spread it out kind of evenly. It doesn't, again, have to be perfect. And I slice these strawberries. These are the early glows. These are the ones Randy uh, Johnson from Johnson's Farm really prefers. And then um, a little bit of the sauce to kind of go right on top of it, and that's it. Super simple, super delicious. You're eating the season, and the season is so short. Hope you love this one. Steve Delinsky, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.